New information is emerging about one of the teenagers injured in a drive-by shooting outside of a La Jolla house party. Eric Buchanan shot in the jaw, just underwent surgery. 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco joining us now. And Rachel, his mom will be meeting with community leaders tonight. Brian, it's been just over a week since that drive-by frightened this community. Tonight, people will gather here to share some of their concerns and try to get more information about the investigation while one of the young victims continues to fight through horrific injuries. Time plays in big time games and he's one of them. This is Eric Buchanan in a post-game interview after leading the Madison High Warhawks in a comeback victory two years ago. Eric was a star running back recruited to Sacramento State with dreams of going pro. He's um, really outgoing. He's very popular. These pictures show the 19 year old's graphic injuries. He was shot in the jaw. His mom says the bullet went in one side through his tongue and out the other cheek. It, I mean, it broke my heart when I walked in and each time I go in, you know, it's just it's just a, a reminder of you know, I could have lost him. Eric and dozens of others were hanging out in this alley off of Cuvier and Pearl in the early morning hours of June 23rd. They had just stepped outside from a large party going on at an apartment nearby when someone drove by and fired into the crowd. They were the first ones to be hit. Eric saw one of his friends, Nina Silver, fall to the ground. She was killed. He was hit next. She thought that he had gotten hit because it was just, it happened so fast. And so he had gotten hit with like a fist or something. And so then, but she turned around and Eric was saying, no, I got shot. His face was really numb. Two other young men also got shot, but survived. Eric has a long recovery ahead of him. His family set up this GoFundMe to help with medical bills. They also want the public to keep the pressure on police to find the killer. Because these are four innocent young adults that were our future or that are our future and that, you know, they didn't deserve this. Police have said that they have no suspects. We're hoping that somebody will be here from the department to provide an update on the investigation. Again, that meeting starts here tonight at 6. Reporting live in La Jolla, Rachel Bianco, 10 News. All right, Rachel, thanks for the update.